to the middle here. They're under it. John Fahey is in there. And back it comes there towards midfielder Kilcommons. Pulls in the ball and forward here comes Ford again. Francis Ford again. A driving ball from Ford. It drops in, swinging to the right and wide. Turlock Moore, one goal and six points. Athenry have four points. There are about eight minutes left in the game. Up they go, being blocked down here by Timmy Jice. Timmy Jice running with the ball, trying to pull inside. Damian Madden is there, the Athen right cornerback is there, and it's Michael Cahill, the centre back, who goes for it. Cahill gets us forward there, towards the centre half forward. Sean Kane, Tullock Moore still battling there. Damian Madden pulls on the ball, but the ball has gone over the line, and it's a line ball. <laughs> Tom Lennon has gone forward as darkness begins to come down over hanging rain. But at the moment, Turlock Moore are very much in the sun because they have a good lead. One six to four points, five points between the teams. About seven minutes left in the game. And what a game this now is turning out to be. It's raining in Athenry here, but I don't think the Turlock Moore crowd really mind. But there are still over six minutes left, and the cut has been taken by Brendan Burke. Can Turlock Moore relieve this one? Comes forward here on a big run here by the midfielder, Kilcommons. He's been crowded inside here. The Turlock Moore defence gets it in. It's a dangerous ball to the left and wide. That was dangerous. The midfielder, Kilcommons, got in and substitute Cormac McCarthy pulled on that one across the goal area and to the left and wide. Here comes Willie Burke. Willie, even at this tender age, the warrior of many battles between the posts for Turlock Moore. Up it goes again. They're trying to police it here. And here comes Francis Duffy. Duffy, who scored an invaluable point some moments ago. Forward here towards Paul Madden. Madden pulls once in the second eye. In towards John Burke. Jerk pulls in the ground. Jerry Holland is in there, but the ball has gone to the left and wide. <laughs> Matty Gannon quickly out with the puck out now. Out it comes. Up they go for it. Damien Madden half blocks it down. Pull on by the midfielder Tracy. Jerry Tracy forward here. Close the substitute. Cormac McCarthy. McCarthy trying to cut inside. Being policed by Fahey. Being hooked by Fahey. And out comes Patsy Clarty. Full back. And Clark pulls on the ball. But referee Lennon had blown the whistle. It's a free. He had judged there. That forward. Cormac McCarthy had been fouled as he ran towards the goal area. It's raining here at Kinney Park. There are five minutes left in the game. Darkness descends now. The sun has disappeared. The autumn rain comes down. And they wing forward. Pat Hine will try and pull back something here for Athenry. Turlock Moore won six. And now Athenry have five points as he drives it over. Four points between the teams. Four minutes left in the game. Can Turlock Moore hold out? Can Athenry come back? Memories no doubt of many of the great hurlers of Colarn and St. Vincent in the past. Men like Larry Dial and Michael Joe Badger and the late and great Willie Riley Morris will be recalled on this occasion here at Kenny Park. Up they go for it again. The centre back Michael Cahill for Athenry tries to come forward. A run from Cahill. Athenry are desperately trying to get back into the game now. Out comes John Duffy, kicks the ball along the ground. Forward there to Damien then. Being blocked here by Timmy Jice. A powerhouse here at centre half forward. Timmy Jice from Ballinboher. And it's a free, a free for Turlock Moore. The ball being retrieved now. And Turlock Moore will be anxious to keep, keep on the initiative. Keep the ball up in this area of the field, a good area for them. Francis Ford again comes forward, 65 metres out. And the young schools and indeed Galway minor hurler who has played such a crucial part in this game since he came in as a substitute will be anxious to put this one over. Five points between, four points between the teams. Francis Ford, the taker. He drops it in right-handed, dropping in front of the goal area. Up they go, and it's Frank Burke. Burke grabs the ball, a shot from Burke. Half locked down. John Ford pulls in the ball across the area here from John Ford. And it's been placed by the fullback here, a driving shot. Jim Feeney got a stick to it, and it's a 65. Tullock Moore pile on the pressure in the dying moments of this great encounter here. The Galway Junior A hurling final of 1991. And the winners of this competition will play in the intermediate grade 
next year. But more importantly this evening, the winners will receive the County Cup. Will it be Turlock Moore now with a four-point lead? Cast Francis Ford tries to pull it five points. And Ford drives it in. Oh, what a shot, oh, what a stroke from the young midfielder. Surely the man of the match, the star of the game. Francis Ford again. Turlock Moore, one seven, at the Roy, five points. Out it comes again. And the referee's whistle seems to have sounded. There's a slight misunderstanding here, and the puck out must be taken again. In the last three minutes of play, Matty Gannon pucking it out, drives it forward. Up they go for it again. The far side reaching for it is the midfielder for Athenai Kill Commons. Damian Madden, Frank Burke, Timmy Joyce driving forward. Here comes Joyce again, goes down on it. And the Ballon Bohr stalwart tries to get it up here. He's fouled in transit here. An invaluable free here for Turlock Moore. And once again, Francis Ford, Francis Ford will endeavour to convert this one. 1-7 one for Turlock Moore. Nathan Roy have five points. Five points between the teams. Can we be witnessing history? The bridging of a 37-year gap as Francis Ford drives it in, right-handed in the rain, and this time swinging to the right and wide. What an evening for men like team trainer Kevin Holland, the selectors Jimmy and John McGrath, the men who have trained this Turlock Moore team for the bad evenings, the long evenings of the year. Can they have the reward this evening? John Fahey is there. Tight had knocked down the ball. And back again comes Francis Ford. He leads it to Fahey. Fahey pulls on the ground, left-handed. Forward it goes to John Burke on the fullback. In it goes to John Ford. Ford is on the run, being tackled by the fullback. Brendan Burke is in here. Jennings comes across the field. Jennings pulls on the ball <coughs> along the area here. And the midfielder grabs the ball here. Trying to come forward here is Tracy. Tracy left-handed to the side of the field. Michael O'Brien, the captain, is back. O'Brien pulls on the ball. Kilcommon Shepherd owns it over the line here. And Tom Hughes points to the spot. A Turlock line ball. And Francis Ford will take it here in front of a huge crowd here. And the stand. A big Turlock Moore gathering here on the stand. Francis Ford, he cuts it in. A right-handed drive towards his brother, John. John sh lets it in towards John Burke. Burke on the full-back. Jim Feeney racing for possession. Feeney drives it out to the far side of the field. John Ford is out there. Ford tries to get possession. Back he puts it there towards... Timmy Joyce and Joyce drives it in left-handed as darkness descends here in Kenny Park and the dying moments of this game. Turlock Moore have one goal and seven points and Athen Rye have five points. The crowd are waiting on referee Linhan here. We're in the dying moments of the game. Frank Burke is there. Here comes Burke, the great-handed Frank. He won a county senior medal in 85. Can he make it a junior medal in 91? The man who keeps on forever. John Duffy coming forward. Duffy leaves the ball behind him. Mixie Dunahoe goes backward. He's been tackled by John Fahey, and it's a line ball for Turlock Moore. And never said I defence in here. They're playing so well. A great team effort. What an evening for the Turlock Moore club here. And the dying moments of the game here. John Fahey going across to take the line ball. Turlock Moore, one goal and seven points. Athen Rye, not five. And the rain comes down here in the fading life. We're in the dying moments of this great encounter, this historic occasion. Turlock Moore, one goal and seven points. Turlock Moore, not five. The cut goes out. Brendan Burke half pulls on the ball. John Ford is after the ball. He's been tackled. Half blocked down the centre. And here comes Frank Burke. Left-handed from Frank Burke. In towards John Burke. We're in extra time now. John Burke tries to hand pass it in. In towards Timmy Joyce. Joyce has been beaten there by Barry Kearns. Kearns tried to get it forward. Still being policed by Timmy Joyce. Half pushed off of there by Paul Madden. And referee Lennon points to the spot. And it's a relieving free there. A free out for Athen Rye. Turlock Moore, one goal and seven points. Athen Rye have five points. And the second minute here of overtime in this game. Up they go for it. The black helmet there of Damian Madden. And it's all over. Scenes of wild emotion. Turlock Moore, one goal and seven points. Athen Rye not five. Turlock Moore are the Galway County Champions of 1991. What a great occasion for the club. The bearers of the black and white. Scenes of excitement, scenes of jubilation, and sometimes, somehow later this evening, the County Cup in triumphant fashion, the first Junior Cup since 1954, will wind its way to the parish of Turlockmore and the banks of the River Clare. And in a few moments, the Turlockmore captain, Michael O'Brien, will be presented with the County Cup. 
And what undoubtedly is a historic occasion here at Athenry. Turlock Moore winning the County Cup on the final scoreline here from an exciting and a historic occasion here at Athenry as the rain comes sweeping down and the Turlock Moore fans converge on the pitch to celebrate a famous victory. Turlock Moore, one goal and seven points. Athenry, not five. And on behalf of the man in camera here for laser videos here, Jerry O'Neill, this is yours truly, Jared McDonough saying well done to Turlock Moore on this great occasion, a historic occasion for the club and bidding you all adieu from Kenny Park at the Nye on the 23rd of September 1991, the day in which Turlock Moore won the County Galway Junior Hurling Championship for the first time in 37 years. We salute the team and their captain Michael O'Brien. We salute the selectors, the team manager Kevin Holland and selectors John and Jimmy McGrath. We salute Turlock Moore as the cup is about to be presented and at few moments it will be triumphant return to Turlock Moore and the banks of the Clare. A big day for the club, a great day for Turlock more on behalf of all of us here this is Jarlath McDonough saying Slán Bios can I relive there is no stopping it Jerry had to go he's had a great day the one. don't record nothing yet now don't record nothing take it easy now take it easy Of all these wires, right? Please. No. again yeah. and we have Tom Cannon here the chairman of the hurling board and he's about to present the cup to Michael O'Brien so I'll ask Tom the chairman to say a few words into our Tullockmore cameras video here Tom Cannon chairman of the Gala hurling board uh, <coughs> Mr chairman uh, ladies and gentlemen first of all I would like to congratulate both teams on a fine game this evening and to compliment Turlock Moore coming in to play Athenry and Athenry, there was no, we fixed the match and we never had a word since. And I hope someday Athenry will do the same to go to Turlock and play Turlock in it. I know they will because both Athenry and Turlock Moore are true sportsmen. A field is a field and when you have a good field you, you, you can play hurling all the time. To win the junior is a, I suppose, a big moment for all the clubs around to watch out for Turlock Moore in the Sundays that's coming. Uh, you're out next Sunday, you know, in the senior semi-finals and the best to look to whoever comes out of that. Uh, I do hope that the, by winning the junior, that uh, it will promote hurling and improve hurling in Turlock Moore Parish. And with that, I'll present the cup to my club, Ryan. Well, there you have it. Tom Cannon presents the cup to the Tullamore captain. And now we'll have a word from the captain here from one yard, Michael O'Brien. Thanks, Gerard. Uh, I don't really know what to say. I have nothing prepared, I can assure you that. Uh, it's a great honour to receive this cup on behalf of all the players and of, of everyone in Tullamore. It's been a great effort all year. No one said we could do it. We knew in our hearts we could do it all along. Um, a few people like to thank Kevin Holland, especially, and the two lads, Ger Jimmy McGrath and John McGrath. The three cheers, or who wants to cheer for them? Uh, I'd like to thank all the officers of the Turlockmore Hurling Club, Chairman Frank Kearney as well, for all the support they gave us. Um, it's a great game. I'd like to uh, three cheers now for the losing team, Athenry. Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! Hip hip! That's all I said. I'll just fill it now so I can keep it full. Thanks. Well, done. well, there you have it. If we could have the manager of the Turlockmore team now, Kevin Holland, we might have a word with him if we can find him in the background there and the excitement. He's coming forward. I'm sure there'll be a very big cheer for the man who, with Jimmy and John McGrath, has guided this great victory. Kevin, congratulations. I'm sure you're a very happy man. Uh, indeed, I am, Gerald. It's a wonderful occasion. It brings back old memories to 1985. Uh, they were a good bunch of fellas. They were easy to work with. 
and it was only fitting this evening that they got what, what they set out to achieve. They all worked hard, and I'm very proud of them. And well done, lads. I hope you go on to better things. Thank you very much indeed, Kevin. I'm sure you're very thankful as well to Jimmy and John. They give you a lot of help. Yes, indeed. Um, I called on Jimmy and John at very short notice. Uh, it's not easy to get uh, selectors. Nobody wants to put the time in. But I must say, Jimmy and John have been a wonderful help. They were always there at my beck and call. And well done, lads. I appreciate it. And your help was much appreciated. Thanks again, lads. Thanks very much indeed, Kevin. And there you have it again. A great evening for Tullochmore. Tullochmore, the champions of Galway. And let's hear the crowd and let's hear for Tullochmore. <laughs> so on behalf of all of us here in Athenry and this great evening for Tullochmore Club, we say, Stan, Bios, can I relive? Thank you.